for that. Um, Coach of the year. If you look, I mean, Jim Harbaugh, he's got the Harbaugh Bowl coming up, by the way, next week. That'll be really fun. Dan Campbell is up there as well. Let's take a look, take a look at the odds here, at least on uh, FanDuel Sportsbook. Who would you give it to? Look at those odds. It's such a mess. <laughs> there, there's no so good true. answer here. And I think that this year, I think you can make an argument for like eight different people. And I know that they had a tough game yesterday and I'm sure probably should have lost to the Bears. But think about what Matt LaFleur did early in the season with Malik Willis. So like true. You have to throw so him good. in there. Sean McDermott, this was supposed to be like a soft reset year for the Bills. And instead, they're having one of the best seasons they've ever had with this regime. I'm still tempted to give it to Tomlin. In part, just because I don't think we've recognized over time how good he's been. And I think this might be the right year to take a step back and say, it's incredible that he keeps this team in relevancy and playing the same way and getting the most out of those guys every single year. That's a little bit of a career achievement thing, but I'm tempted to do that this year just because I think the work he's doing really should be celebrated. It's a really sound argument. We'll see how it, uh, how it ends up, of course, at the end of the season.